What is going on, y'all? It's a dangerous world. Y'all stay safe out there. We're going to be looking at today, what is it that washes away sins? Is it the blood of Jesus or is it the waters of baptism? And what we're going to notice is, yes, the blood of Jesus does wash away your sins. And yes, when you are baptized, your sins are washed away. But when you're baptized in the water, is it the water that washes away your sins or is it actually the blood of Jesus? And what we're going to learn when you compare Revelation chapter 1 verse 5, as you see here, and Acts chapter 22, verse 16, you're going to see your sins are washed away by the blood of Jesus. But at what point in time, at the point in which you're baptized, the point in which you submit to the command to the Lord Jesus, when he said, whoever believes in is baptized will be saved. What does it mean to be saved? It means you are forgiven. Are you forgiven by being baptized or are you forgiven by the blood of Jesus? Well, you're forgiven the moment you submit to the command to be baptized. And at that moment, God forgives you through your faith in the blood of Jesus. So let's look at this. Revelation 1, 5 from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, meaning he's the first one to rise from the dead, never to die again. The prince of the kings of the earth. Jesus has all authority in heaven and on earth. He's the ruler of the kings of the earth. And look what it says. Unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. We are washed from our sins. How? By the blood of Jesus. But to the person who has not contacted the blood of Jesus, to the person who is unforgiven, who needs cleansing through the blood of Jesus, we have Paul's account. Paul told individuals what to do to be saved. We could read about that when we studied the book of Acts. And in Acts chapter 22, Paul is recounting his conversion and what he was told to do to have his sins washed away and look what it says now why tarryest thou meaning why are you waiting arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins calling on the name of the lord you call on the name of the lord when you submit to the command to be water baptized we'll do another video on that acts chapter 2 tells us that also also, Acts chapter 9 references those who call on the name of the Lord in Jerusalem, which is a reference to Acts chapter 2. But you have here the blood of Jesus, Revelation chapter 1, verse 5, washed from our sins in his own blood. Jesus' blood washes away our sins. But at what point, Acts twenty two sixteen, at the point in which you arise and are baptized, and at that moment you're calling upon the name of the Lord, and it says... Your sins are washed away. So is it the blood or is it the water that washes away your sins? Well, it is the blood. But at the moment you submit yourself to the command to be water baptized, that your faith might be perfected and your sins might be washed away as you call upon the name of the Lord. May God bless you. Thank you for your time. Continue studying in Acts chapter 22, verse 16 and Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. Go hand in hand to teach the truth concerning the necessity of water baptism, that it connects you with the blood of Jesus. And we'll have another video showing the connection between the two. God bless you. Thank you for your time. It's a dangerous world. Stay safe out there.